Ah, Fallout 4. This game has, aside from Skyrim, single-handedly caused more sick days than any other game in history. And with the recent release of the Fallout show, player numbers have again skyrocketed to over 164,000 concurrent players only on Steam, meaning that Fallout 4 has now seen the biggest increase in players since it released back in 2015. And recently, Bethesda updated the game with the official next-gen update, meaning even more players are bound to be curious to either return to Fallout 4 or perhaps even play it for the first time ever. And so that begs the question, is Fallout 4 worth playing in 2024? And is it worth breaking all of your mods with the next gen update? Well, we'll get into that. As is usual, I'll be starting off this video by talking about the character creation, and if you've played Fallout 76, then you'll feel right at home here because 76's character creation system is quite literally the very same one as Fallout 4's. However, I have to say that Fallout 4 definitely feels superior in this category. I can't exactly say why, but I think it's because there's more clarity when selecting features like cheekbones, eyes, chin, and so on. Now on the flip side, I've always felt like Fallout 4 has a pretty lacking character creation system because there simply aren't very many interesting options to pick from, whether that be eye shapes or hairstyles, and hopefully we can see an evolution here for Fallout 5, which likely comes out in 69 years or so. Nice. Now right after the character creation, we get a pretty cool playable intro where we get to know the family of our protagonist, and it's not long before the Great War kicks off with nuclear bombs dropping all over the US mainland resulting in our protagonist and their family taking shelter in Vault 111 to survive. Shortly after getting to safety, you and your family gets cryogenically frozen until the time comes to rebuild America. Unfortunately, a mysterious group of people arrives only to murder your spouse and steal your kid. And as our maternal instincts kick in, we vow to find the culprit and to save our son. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. And since hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, I strongly recommend playing as a female character at least once. Trust me, Courtney Taylor's voice acting is incredible all the way through. You might remember her as Jack from the Mass Effect games, and so if you're a fan of Jack, you'll most likely enjoy your character being voiced in this game. I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Now what follows is a pretty interesting story with tons of mystery, and I think Fallout 4 does a good job of setting up a strong baseline for the story. Finding your son by any means necessary is a pretty solid goal, and throughout all of my playthroughs, I've always felt that the main plotline gives over the reins to you, where you decide the pacing of what happens in your playthrough, allowing you to break off and explore the commonwealth whenever you want. It's all just a big mystery, and the game asks you to explore as much as you can to reach the final goal. That said, I don't think that the main story and its conclusion are necessarily all that good, especially after having recently played through Fallout New Vegas for the first time, which, let's just say, overall has more interesting stories and characters in it comparatively. Fallout 4 unfortunately doesn't have the same amount of meaningful and interesting choices either, but that doesn't mean that there aren't any. On the contrary, there are quite a few choices you have to make whether you're playing through the main story or doing various side quests. It's just that they're not necessarily as fleshed out as the games that came before. Still, don't let people tell you that Fallout 4 is just a straight up action game because it's definitely an RPG with the amount of things you can choose to do. And while the story isn't mind-blowing, there are some standout characters like Nick Valentine and the Brotherhood of Steel Knight, Dance, who to me are some of the most likable Fallout characters to date. So there is that. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Now graphics-wise, I think Fallout 4 holds up pretty well despite its age. What you're seeing here is before the next-gen update had been released with max settings on 4K resolution, and well, it just runs really well and looks good enough to immerse you into the world, no problem. Now I didn't record frame rates here, but I could reach a constant 100 plus FPS on 4K, which is pretty respectable. Then again, I'm running it on a 4090 GPU, so that's really no surprise when you really think about it. Now before you ask, in order to reach a higher FPS without breaking your game, you can install the high FPS physics fix, which separates your frames per second from the creation engine itself. And I strongly recommend everyone that plays Fallout 4 on PC to install this mod because the game just feels so much better with high FPS. 
Now I'm just going to touch on the base building here for a second, and well, while I'm not the biggest fan of building bases in RPGs, it's nonetheless a cool addition and it's definitely made an impact on a lot of people, and it's one of the mechanics that's primarily responsible for a lot of players sticking with the game after all this time, because building and maintaining your bases is actually pretty addictive. Alright, so what about the gameplay then? Well, Honestly, Fallout 4 simply has the best gameplay out of any Fallout game to date. I'd say it's even better than Fallout 76. Now, if you've seen my review of Fallout 76 in 2024, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of the Vault Assisted Targeting System, or VATS for short, and it's honestly never been better. I can't tell you just how many hours I've spent roaming the Commonwealth as a silent assassin, stalking and sniping my opponents both up close and afar. Using silenced weapons is just so much fun, and the VAT system allows for some incredibly satisfying kill shots that makes you feel like death on two legs as you dismantle enemy after enemy, which fits in perfectly with the roleplay aspect of finding your son by any means necessary. Now aside from my favorite category of weapons, that being silenced projectile based guns, Fallout 4 has an array of other weapons as well, such as laser rifles, laser muskets, plasma guns, and so on. You know, the Fallout classics. That said, the most fun weapons to use are always going to be the very heavy and unique ones, like the minigun, missile launcher, and of course, the Fat Man mini nuke launcher, which just never gets old even after using it a hundred times. Speaking of unique weapons, the brand spanking new next-gen update brought a few new weapons to the table. For example, we have the nail gun, which, well, shoots nails. And then we have a saw blade launcher that launches spinning blades at your enemies that allows for some pretty gruesome kills. But because YouTube doesn't like gore, I'm gonna have to cut those kills out. There's also the piggy bank launcher, which is literally just a sillier version of the fat man. And while it's a nice little addition to your arsenal, I don't really think that it's worth replaying the entire game for. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Now, I would say that this goes for the entirety of the next gen update because unfortunately, all of my mods broke after installing it. However, there are exceptions. The update brought not only new guns and slightly improved visuals together with a slew of bug fixes, but it also introduced a couple of new ingredients to the game, namely new enemy types and even new quest lines. So far I've played through the Enclave questline and I can absolutely say that this was probably the coolest addition to Fallout 4 as of yet. Now, I'm not going to spoil what happens at the end of it, but let's just say that I was positively surprised. And I also very much enjoyed the detective work you do throughout it. And so if there's one thing Bethesda should take away from this update, it's that if you're going to release an update that'll break people's games, at least give us new quest lines and similar meaningful content, because at the end of the day, I'd say that the next gen update was worth it simply because of the new quest lines and the new enemy types. That said, the next-gen aspect of the update is pretty lackluster. As I'm playing on a PC with a regular monitor, I can't really say whether the widescreen support is worth it or not, neither can I say anything about consoles. But if you're like me and you're playing on PC with a bunch of mods, I'd say that it's probably better if you hold off on installing the update. Especially so if you're running a very specific setup of mods. In which case, this update will most likely only serve to piss you off, as you'll now have to wait until mod creators update their mods, and then you'll have to reinstall said mods again, which will take unnecessary time off your hands. There's really no difference in graphics, and even if there has been changes, I haven't noticed them at all. If anything, I've noticed a slight drop in FPS, but that's about it. The update unfortunately also introduced some incredibly long loading screens, and at one moment, I literally had to wait for an entire minute for the main map to load, which is just silly considering I'm using a brand new SSD. Now on the other hand, if you're a vanilla player on either PC or console, then I'd say that the new update brings enough content for you to have some fun with for at least half a day or so, maybe even more. While I don't think that the update is worth installing if you're playing with a ton of mods, Fallout 4 is nevertheless absolutely worth buying if you haven't played it before, and it's definitely worth reinstalling if you're curious about the new stuff. 
All right, that's my review of Fallout 4 in 2024. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe for more Mr. Holton, signing out.